Yeah. Tom and I should talk to them. Yes. I, I mean, that so. requires a visit, really? of I course. Let's yes. get a trip. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get two things in one, a nice vacation and a trip to work. A working trip. Uh, 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 right. Absolutely. Having an impact. Right. So, <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. What did you get yourself into, uh, right? Okay, well, welcome to the stream podcast with Will and Tom, on the road edition here at the Water Energy Exchange WEX in Valencia, Spain. Uh, my name is Tom Freiberg, I'm an environmental journalist and content creator specializing in water. And I'm Will Sarney, a water strategy consultant doing my part to solve wicked water problems. And we are thrilled to be joined by Mark <laughs> Barnett, the president and CEO of the National Water Commission, NWC, from Jamaica. Mark, Hi, great to you. see you. Good it's to a see pleasure. You How are you? I'm great, thanks. Great to I meet you. It's a pleasure. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. What did you get yourself into, uh, right? I tell you, uh, but it's always water. It's always good to get into water. Uh, that's a good way to put it. Here we go. Yeah, right. So, um, so how are you finding the, the, from your point of view, National Water Commission? You had, I think, when we first met, was at a Wex in 2018. Yes. You're back. So, how are you finding it? Our Wex is a good conference. I believe the whole issue of water and energy exchange is good for small utilities like ourselves. You know, we struggle for, with water, we struggle with energy. So it's a good place to get experience, exposure to what is happening globally, the yeah, new technologies yeah. that are uh, coming on stream. Um, so there's a possibility of utilizing some of those to solve our problems. Amazing. Yeah. And for people watching and listening, give us a bit of sort of context on NWC, ah. how big you guys are. So NWC is the government's uh, water utility. It's not private. It's not run by a municipality. It's, it's really the central government. We supply just about 2 million um, people. Uh, that's roughly 70% uh, of the population, 75% really. Our intention is to go to 85% and use other modalities to supply very deep rural communities. We're running a transmission main. It's just ridiculously expensive. So we wouldn't um, venture into that. But we have uh, just about 600,000 connections. We produce just about 190 million gallons of water per day. Of course, a significant portion of that is NRW, which we are endeavoring to tackle. We consider NRW as our priority strategic objective, uh, as well as our energy, uh, which consumes 33% of my cash. <laughs> Not bill revenue, no, my cash. So it's yeah, what the money company, out the door. Money out the door. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, our intention is to reduce our losses, make the, the, the network more efficient, more reliable, uh, so that it can serve the customers and we have a more sustainable uh, water supply system. But important to that, we want to play our part in reducing environmental degradation because we believe we should not be pulling more water mm. from the environment than we should. And that helps, you know, in, in, in play our part. In addition to that, we also have a high, uh, really, water utilities in general has a high carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. So part of our strategy is how we can reduce that carbon footprint, reduce our pumping, and even if we have to pump, we use different energy sources. And so we have embarked on a strategy to use renewable energy, particularly photovoltaic uh, as a chief um, renewable source. We are in, embarking on what we consider 45 megawatt PV. We intend to, well, we're going through the process now to get government's approval, etc. But it is so unique for our situation because we're doing it floating on one of our reservoirs. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. So we have a 100 acre reservoir and we intend to cover almost everything with um, photovoltaic wow. cells. And again, so it's, it's a circular approach because most of our utility vehicles use uh, diesel, mm -hmm. uh, petrol, etc. One of the things we want to do as well is to use this renewable energy source as a means of starting to introduce EV into our fleet. 
Mm. So we will now generate our own energy to power those vehicles as well. So that is part of the overall long-term strategy for the it, MWC. So this is really, a, you have an integrated strategy looking at energy and water and, yes. and carbon yeah, a, exactly. as, as a byproduct. That, that's really interesting. Uh, what about uh, decentralized systems, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, water treatment, uh, new sources of water? You, right. you and I talked just briefly about groundwater recharge and so on. Is, is that part of your menu in so, terms of going forward? Interestingly, you know, you asked that. We, we embarked, and I think it's the only ground, um, water recharge system in the Caribbean. Uh, a couple of years back, we needed to expand our water supply abstraction from the groundwater. The regulator said, oh, no, <laughs> you need to do something to ensure that there's sustainability. And so we started a, a 5 million gallon water recharge system. It's really taking the water, the excess water from a nearby river, settle it, yeah. and just percolate it into the aquifer. And allow other, you know, us to use nearby wells mm -hmm. in the long run. And it actually has twofold. Not just about the sustainability of the groundwater itself, but because there's also uh, a nearby uh, soil plume, if you will, from the sea. Oh, yeah. It actually creates that balance. So you know, the fresh water will always be on top. The salt water is at the bottom. Salt water so it's uh, absolutely. Right, yeah, yeah. So that is a, a dual um, arrangement in respect to, to that system. But for the other systems that we have, we do have various facilities dispersed mm -hmm. across the island. And most are unique, standalone. And these are some of the facilities where we're looking at putting in renewable energy as well. Because you, you mentioned you had about an extra 15% of supply in the rural areas. So would you ever think about non-conventional water generation, like oh. water from air? Because like, you mentioned about actually putting in a transmission yeah. line and the costs. Sure. Thinking yeah. completely outside the box. On so absolutely, those are some of the the, the intervention that we are thinking of uh, introducing. Uh, of course, rain harvesting is something that we're promoting locally mm -hmm. because oftentimes we forget that that is really, <laughs> uh, intervention to provide reliable source of water. So we're promoting that as well uh, locally. Very yeah. good. So you mentioned that like one of your big focuses now is NRW, yes. uh, non-revenue water, right? The uh, the enemy of the state. Exactly. Right. <laughs> it is. It and it's is. not just uh, your energy cost taking a lot of your cash, but actually this is lost water, lost revenue. Mm -hmm. So where, where are you seeing innovation in Jamaica when it comes to that? New partners, new solutions? How are you sort of, what's your strategy on trying to bring that right. lost water down? So five years ago, we entered into an arrangement, a quite unique arrangement with Mia Water, where we had a co-management mm -hmm. arrangement. I mean, everybody has co-management. How can you do that for NRW? And because NRW is such a unique situation, and if I take you on as a partner, you want to ensure that your performance is rewarded. Right. So when you do a co-management, my performance may be hindered by the partner. And so we ended up having a very unique relationship that is symbiotic. We, we work together. We are the same objectives. And so that project, albeit as it has ended last year, we were able to reduce our NRW in Kingston from 63% uh, down to 40%. Mm -hmm. And current um, workers in the organization is maintaining that with a view to reduce even further. With that, we have now entered into another arrangement with Mia, which is you know, quite adjacent um, community for another six-year contract, and that will take NRW down, down to 30. So far, they have reduced NRW by about 30% of the target. So that is part of the strategy, but you know, it's really discrete, small. We want to go big because our problem is big. Mm -hmm. And so what we're looking at now is we started out to see if we could do a public-private partnership in NRW reduction, where the private sector comes in, invests, get rewarded as an approach, uh, based on the business case, which has just now been completed. It may not work that way. Mm -hmm. It may require the utility to find the financing. But the strategy that we're looking at, while it's a 300 million project, 
we're not saying that 300 million need to be found initially. Mm -hmm. What we're looking at is prioritizing the areas to work and revenue gain from those areas will now reinvest as part of the capital expenditure for those uh, to make up that 300 uh, million. So mm -hmm. we expect in another year we'll go to market for that project. Uh, we're now, as I said, going through the process to get government approval, to ensure that the project is on government's investment uh, agenda. Yeah. It sounds uh, yeah, an impressive amount of money and a, a strategy to look at it and also yeah. a kind of creative business model to re we talk all about circular all the time, actually yes. redirect revenue back into there. Absolutely. So this is obviously news to watch for the international community. You're looking, looking for potential partners. Oh yes. Oh yes. Moving forward within the next 12, 18 months. Right? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, we want to make sure that we have different players uh, participate. It's it's a huge undertaking. Um but I believe we're up to the task. Uh, once it is understood that NRW is a threat to the viability of the utility, right. uh, something yeah. has to be done. And that is what we endeavor to do. We always talk about this is on the demand, well, on the demand side, but actually maximize the water resources that, that you have as opposed to trying to add in an additional oh, sure. generation it, of it, an additional source, right? Yeah. It, it's so costly to really push the supply side of the equation right. demand if you can reduce yeah. demand it's it's much more effective you know in terms right. of uh, capital yeah. but I tell you what we were I mean Jamaica is highly dependent on tourism and so how do you sustain that product and what is a key ingredient in, in that arrangement and we are faced with two things a new source correct your existing situation mm -hmm. And one of the things that we recognize, the rate at which investment happened in the tourism sector, to do an NRW project, it takes you a little bit longer or much longer to get all your things organized. And so we have to do a mix. You may still need to do a new source, but not to the extent as mm -hmm. if you were doing it from scratch. I have nothing you know, working with. And so if we need a 25 million gallons facility for argument's sake. Rather than do 25, you do probably 10. And knowing very well that their NRW, based on the assessment, would then take care of the other 50 as part of the overall mix. And it's really to help to manage that level of investment rather than do the full capital investment, which, as you know, you know if you don't need to invest it now, don't. Sure. Yeah. And Mark, are you seeing the hospitality sector uh, supportive in terms of, you know, potentially financing a NRW project with you? I don't think I don't see that to be honest with you. No, I, no. I don't. Oh, then we, we I Tom and I should talk to them. Yes, I, think I mean that so. requires a visit, of course. Yes, well, to, 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 to be honest with you, we, we have not we have not presented it um, in that way because it is usually seen as a government. Um, Activity, so maybe there is that appetite, but we don't know. Yeah. Well, that that's a good ask. Yeah, that's you know? a good ask. So, okay. We need to new partnerships, right? We we'll, yes. we'll get the word out. Right? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. Let's yes. get the trip booked. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get two things in one: a nice vacation and a trip like to work. A working trip. We can't, uh, can't be a right. Absolutely. Having an impact. Yeah. yeah. A research field trip to visit our friend Mark and. Uh, find out more about the role of the private sector in Jamaica, yes. helping reducing NRW. There yes. we go. So one thing I can yeah. say, though, um, <laughs> the local financial institutions are keen to invest in, in infrastructure. Oh, that, that's and, good. And that's good because I guess there's a lot of pension funds. There's, right. And, you know, since COVID, there's a lot of cash that has been accumulated, not going much, not doing much. And so there's a great appetite to get local financing to do some of these works. So that is, that's a plus. Fantastic. Well, uh, listen, Mark, always enjoy catching up with you. A pleasure. Thanks for this is a hugely exciting uh, 300 million project coming up. Yes. So I think people should be aware of that and stay tuned for more information. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your time here in uh, in Valencia and safe travels back, hopefully with the uh, the airport chaos. You're not yeah. caught up in... Uh, don't check your luggage. No, I, I have no choice. I carry, just on have no, carry on only unless you, you don't right. want to see it again, right? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's fine. I mean, 
is what is expected, really. Uh, <laughs> people were pent up for a while over COVID, so people just want to get out and, you know, just go places. And I'm happy that I could be here as well. 100%. That's good. It's, great. it's generally great to be back. In absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Mark, yes. appreciate your time. Pleasure. Pleasure. Good to see you again. Yeah. Great to meet you, Mark. Uh, yes, well, great. I look forward to seeing you in Jamaica. Absolutely. I gladly welcome you. All right. You have a deal? Let's get a book. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>